to this day. 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 We we trying to do a, a two fight deal. Okay. One one somewhere maybe here and the other one in Africa. And those are the words of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder as he spilled the beans, revealed why he was in Saudi Arabia to possibly have a saga with Francis Ongono, the former heavyweight UFC champion. Now, I could tell you guys that Deontay Wilder was just not there to be amused by Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. He was there on some business, okay? And I think he was trying to figure out how much money would the Saudis give him for a showdown with Francis Ongono on their territory, right? And I'll say this. Him speaking of Africa to fight once again only shows the intrigue. It's historic. Strange or bizarre or surprising things have happened. Upsets people. Okay. Um, Zaire Africa, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, um, got it on in Africa. George Foreman, 40 and 0, 35 KOs, was undefeated. Muhammad Ali was a two time lost champion at that time. He lost to Joe Frazier, he lost to Ken Norton. George Foreman was <clears throat> the guy that beat Joe Frazier and beat Ken Norton. And then a Muhammad Ali surprisingly upset the world by stopping George Foreman in round eight, okay? Creating the massive technique, the rope-a-dope, if you guys don't remember that. Now, you far to 30-some-odd years later, we had a similar situation that happened and Johannesburg, around the same area, South Africa, where the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis, was knocked out by Hasim Rahman, changing belts once again, Africa. That's those type of fortunes that happen in that particular land. So if he does come, up, come in and that fight does happen in Africa, I would expect nothing less. Not saying that he would win a boxing match, but if it's definitely UFC, ooh, ay, pobreci. Because, listen, Francis Ogono kicking Deontay Wilder with those legs, bro, um, <laughs> I don't think that would be too good for Wilder. I think that would really put him um, in a bad situation because he's had injuries on his shoulders, on his elbows, on his fists. But when you start going down to your foundation, your legs... Ooh, that's hard to shake back from. Including someone that has that type of age on him in this point of his career. Okay. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder revealing why he was in Saudi Arabia. He wants a two fight deal with Francis Ungono and himself. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.